Hello, my students. So, this experiment, what we are going to do is we are going to analyze the ICMP and ping method. So, what is this ICMP all about? ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. It is a supporting protocol for the IP uh, 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 for the Internet protocol. It is a supporting protocol, and it is different from the TCP and UDP protocol because TCP and UDP protocols are used for data transfer, whereas these uh, ICMP messages are used in order to actually send error messages to run a diagnostic check with respect to the network. So the messages have to be exchanged, and these are exchanged using the uh, ICMP message. Okay, ICMP messages are being exchanged. So now what we are going to do is we are going to see with respect to how this ICMP and ping messages work hand in hand. Ping, I have told you a command. This ping command is uh, one of the uh, uh, powerful command which is used in order to find uh, whether the host is alive in the network or whether to check the network connectivity and all the use of this ping command. Okay? So how to run this particular experiment I'm going to explain you. So what you do is first I'm running the uh, Wireshark uh, experiment. What I do is that I'm just, you know, I'm just uh, uh, capturing the packet now when it is capturing the packet what i have to do i'll tell you i'm just uh, stopping the share and i'm showing you what i'm going to do with respect to um the with respect to the execution of the ping message is what i'm going to do so when the wireshark is actually running you have to open a terminal like this and in the terminal you have to give the ping command so i'm giving ping www.google.com you can give any of the uh, dns url you can a uh, name you can give so this says that you know uh, 64 bytes are being transferred and all you get uh, the message and all you'll be getting right now what you do is that once you get enough information you press ctrl c okay so when you press ctrl c what happens is that you get the command prompt back now i am just stopping this particular share and i am going to show you the wireshark uh, share i am going to show you so let's see what happens with respect to this wireshark thing it is still running so what i do is i stop capturing the packet okay so once i stop capturing the packet now you what you do is you just give here icmp you give that's all we are giving so in the filter when you give icmp you can see that all the ICMP packets are being or messages are being captured. Now let us analyze it. So you can see the source uh, and the destination address you can actually see, right? And you can see how the ICMP messages are there. There are two types of messages. One is the echo request message and the other is the echo reply message, okay? So each of the reply message will be having a corresponding code. So based on that code only we will be communicating Okay, so uh, so you can see over here, uh, you can see here uh, the ping message, you can see the sequence number, you can see, right? Over here, let me show you here. You can see that uh, the ping request is being sent with uh, the corresponding uh, identifier. The sequence number is third packet is what is being sent, right? The TTL or time to leave is equal to 64. Like this, when you double click, you can see the entire information. The protocol which is actually ruling is your, uh, uh, you know, internet control message protocol. So I told you it is a request message. So the request is uh, uh, basically the type is 8 and code is equal to 0. And you can see over here the identifier number, the sequence number, uh, the uh, timestamp information, all those things you can see. The data, whatever we are getting, you can actually see it is all encrypted, right? not in the clear form you can see uh, the, these things you can actually see over here so uh, so over here you can see how the uh, ICMP messages are transferred in order to diagnose uh, diagnose if any problem is there or is there any connectivity with respect to the uh, uh, network if, if there's no connectivity all those we can actually see by exchanging the ICMP messages. So ICMP basically works with respect to the echo request and reply message. Let us see the code of a reply message. 
So you can see that the code of reply message type 0 and code 0 is for the reply. And type 8 and code 0 is for the uh, response message. So in case of any error or something, the corresponding code will be returned. Okay. So there are various codes which are there. Say for example, for unreachability, there is a code. So this is how they communicate with each other. So for us, there was no kind of error case. So that is why we are getting the proper successful um, uh, type and code has a uh, uh, zero zero we are getting in the case of reply. Okay. So this is how you have to analyze your ICMP packet. So ICMP packet stands for ICMP stands for Internet Message Protocol, Internet Control Message Protocol. This is used for uh, carrying the diagnostic messages, or it is uh, used to carry the uh, messages used, uh, which is used to check the uh, uh, network in case of any connectivity issue, errors, and all we are using. So how they communicate is by sending the echo request and reply. And you can see over here how they are communicating. And this is what we are trying to actually analyze. So your ICMP protocol works hand in hand with your IP protocol in order to make sure that uh, the all the issues are sorted out or by knowing the destination and the source, knowing about all the kind of uh, the issues which is happening with respect to the network and trying to resolve it. Okay. So how did we run this experiment? Very simple. We just started the Wireshark experiment to remove always remove the filter start the wireshark experiment and then you uh, move on again to a command prompt terminal there you get ping www.google.com uk or any url you can actually uh, give and after that yeah, once you are uh, getting sufficient ping message you exited that by you pressing ctrl c again you came back to the wireshark window you stop the simulation and in the filter field you give icmp and that is how we got all the ICMP packets. So we have successfully captured all the ICMP packets and we have seen how they are communicating with each other. Right? So this is what is the intention with respect to the experiment about you trying to understand the ICMP uh, message and uh, how the, the header part of the ICMP message and all you can see the identifier number, the sequence number and all you can see how they are communicating with each other. So this is basically the with a better understanding of the working of ICMP is where we are having this experiment. Thank you.